So cloning is very useful. Yes. All right, people, what we are trying to do here is we are trying to set up the server rack. This, is, um, this has come in as an ad hoc requirement for one of the clients. They are adding more capability in terms of the number of uh, PCs and the users. So they've asked for uh, additional server rack. What I'm doing right now is primarily to start setting up the server rack. As you can see, the server rack is actually made up of 37RU. 37RU, how do we count the 37RU? Is, as you can see, these, uh, this, this panel is set up on 37. So the start to the end is one RU. RU stands for rack unit. So like that, on this entire server rack, we have 37 RU. Uh, this is our main server. The main server basically occupies the maximum space. Uh, I think it occupies up to five RUs. So we are left with only 32. Now in 32 RUs, we uh, rack units, we have to plan how many switches will go in, how many, so, uh, how many routers will go in. Right now, I was just fixing uh, the uh, attaching panel for the, uh, for the router, and one router basically takes two rack units. So I think three of these routers will, will take um, six rack units, and then one switch takes one rack unit each. So we are left with uh, six plus three, so nine rack units. So I think we should be able to do well with 30, 32 rack units. We should have enough and more space to set it up in a comfortable uh, you know, style, uh, keeping all the cables uh, nicely placed and uh, managed properly so that they don't, uh, you know, they, don't, um, uh, they, they don't mismatch and they don't create confusion. So that is pretty much what it is. Uh, this is how it looks when it is the skeleton. I will show uh, I will show you once it is completely ready so you you will have the before and after so thank you